Hello everyone, Namaste, welcome back once again. Today we will continue doing sums on money. Let's learn and grow together. Arman bought 10 flowers at rupees 25 each, another 15 flowers at rupees 30 each. He is left with rupees 715 at the end. How much money he had in the beginning? This is Arman and he had some money. Now he bought 10 flowers at rupees 25 each. Here rupees 25 each means cost of one flower is equal to rupees 25. He also bought 15 flowers at rupees 30 each. Here rupees 30 each means cost of one flower is equal to rupees 30. He is left with rupees 715 at the end. Now cost of one flower is equal to rupees 25. So cost of 10 flowers will be 10 into rupees 25 is equal to rupees 250. Here cost of one flower is equal to rupees 30. So cost of 15 flowers will be 15 into rupees 30 which is equal to rupees 450. So total money spent on buying flowers is equal to rupees 250 plus rupees 450 which is equal to rupees 700. So Arman had some money and from it he spent rupees 700 on buying flowers and he is still left with rupees 715. So the question is how much money he had in the beginning? Money he had in the beginning is equal to money spent by him plus money left with him. So money he had in the beginning is equal to rupees 700 plus rupees 715 which is equal to rupees 1415. Harish has 23 coins of 25 paise, 4 coins of 50 paise and 1 10 rupees note. Find the amount Harish has. Now Harish has 23 coins of 25 paise. That means 23 into 25 paise which is equal to 500 75 paise. Now let's convert this 575 paise into rupees and paise. We know that 100 paisa is equal to 1 rupee. Therefore 575 paisa would be rupees 575 divided by 100. This is an improper fraction so let's convert it into decimal. How will we do? First, we will write the numerator as it is. That is 575. Next, we will count the number of zeros in the denominator. In the denominator, the number is 100. So it has got two zeros. Finally, we will put the decimal point after two places from right towards left. From right, two places towards left means we will put the decimal point after 7. 
and why two places to left because two zeros in the denominator so answer is rupees 5.75 that means 575 paisa is equal to 5 rupees and 75 paisa he also has four coins of 50 paise four coins of 50 paise is equal to 4 into 50 paise which is equal to 200 paise now again 100 paise is equal to 1 rupee therefore 200 paise would be rupees 200 divided by 100 which is equal to 2 rupees and finally he has one 10 rupees note so one note of rupees 10 is equal to 1 into rupees 10 which is equal to rupees 10 find the amount Harish has so total amount Harish has is equal to rupees 5.75 plus 2 plus 10 which is equal to 17 rupees and 75 paise. Vyamish purchased a coat for 1368 rupees 50 paisa and a shirt for 839 rupees 50 paisa. He also purchased a sari for his mother which cost him rupees 369 more than the sum of the cost of the coat and the shirt. What was the cost of the sari? So, Vyamish purchased a coat for 1368 rupees 50 paisa. It means cost of the coat is rupees 1368.50. He also purchased a shirt for 839 rupees 50 paisa. So it means cost of the shirt is equal to rupees 839.50. He also purchased a sari. So what is the cost of the sari? Cost of the sari is rupees 369 more than the sum of the cost of the coat and the shirt. Now let's find out what is the sum of the cost of the coat and the shirt. Cost of the coat plus cost of the shirt is equal to 1368 rupees 50 paisa plus 839 rupees 50 paisa which is equal to rupees 2208 so cost of the sari is rupees 369 more than rupees 2208 because the sum of the cost of the coat and the shirt that we have got is equal to rupees 2208 so cost of the sari is rupees 369 more than rupees 2208 which is equal to rupees 369 plus 2208 that is 2577 so what was the cost of the sari the cost of the sari was rupees 2577